Do you have champagne taste but a beer budget? Well, we all do, but we all like modern luxury. These are three new Genesis vehicles. The G90 is actually on sale at dealerships right now. The GV80 and the G80 are so new, they just came off a boat from Korea and they're not even legal to drive on the road. In fact, the only place we can drive them is up and down our driveway here. In 2015, the Hyundai Motor Group made their intentions known to create the Genesis luxury brand. In 2017, the company was launched and now they have four models in their lineup with more on the way. Beautiful design out front of the GV80. When I look at this vehicle, it reminds me an awful lot of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, its big, bold presence. It actually has beautiful daytime running lights up here at the front, quad headlamps, which are LED, as well as the fact it has high beam assist. On the sides, alloy wheels, power folding EC outside mirrors with turn signal indicators and Genesis logo puddle lamps. It has full LED rear combination lamps and at the back, dual mufflers. Inside, plenty of room for five with a nice leatherette seating surface area. And there is a smart posture care system to make sure that when you get out of the vehicle, you feel just as good as when you got in before your journey. The door panels have perforated leatherette inserts and there's a real leather steering wheel. Absolutely tons of legroom in the back of the GV80. I also have the option of charging both my AC 115 volts and my 150 watt charger. Plus I have USB ports, my own HVAC controls. I can actually move the passenger seat forward and back from a switch on the side of it here. Plus if I want to recline in the back here, that seating for five gives me reclining rear seat. So I can take a nap. To give it a cool look at night, an adjustable interior ambient lighting system. There's a long list of safety features inside the new GV80, and it's also pre-wired, so you can do some towing if you want to. It has a 14.5 HD screen, 12 speaker premium audio system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with a long list of other features. Now the sedan version of this, the SUV, the GV80, is the G80, and they're very much like fingers on the same hand. The G80 has received that British luxury look for 2020. It comes with a very acceptable price and unexpected tech. And unexpectedly, the Genesis G80 comes with a surprising fuel economy of up to 23 miles a gallon in the city and 32 on the highway. The starting price of this luxury sedan is under $50,000. That's about $5,000 less than its German equivalents. But what are its German competitive vehicles? They are the Audi A6, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, and of course, the BMW 5 Series. And Genesis has not skimped on decking out the G80. You can almost add $20,000 of extras if you want everything on the list. Available is a 12.3 inch 3D digital instrument cluster, 20 inch wheels and more to bring the top selling price of $68,675 if you get the prestige trim. Now this car is already hitting dealer lots. It's the Genesis G90. We first saw the G90 at last year's LA International Auto Show. This is the company's flagship. Genesis call it athletic elegance and horizontal architecture. I'm not sure what those words mean, but the car's impressive. Now the brand new G90 from Genesis really set the design language for the brand. Every Genesis we see in the future will be modeled off the G90. Inside, the design is driven by multiple and high quality materials, including premium leather wrapping applied to the center console. Authentic open pore wood acts as a garnish, as does the double stitching and piping throughout the cabin. There's going to be two engine choices in the G90, a 3.8 liter turbocharged V6 and then a 5 liter V8, which is going to be the nice powerful motor. It is the first Genesis vehicle to offer over-the-air wireless updates for maps and software. In the back of the G90, there is considerably more room. We have nice big screens. I have a complete suite of controls here, very similar to what's up front. I have cooled and heated seats, as well as the rear shades, which I can turn down and actually have the sunlight or people being able to look in and then put up at any point just by the touch of a switch all around. 
The cabin is quiet thanks to active noise cancellation, which reduces noise vibration and harshness using leading audio technology to reduce unwanted noise intrusions. I'm Nick Miles.